Hello. Welcome to this video on types of stories for broadcast journalism. We talk about the most common types of stories, including news stories, investigative journalism, and human interest stories. In this video, we're going to introduce more types of stories, including commentary, consumer reports, and feel-good stories. These types are common in broadcast journalism, but they can also be found in print media. Let's talk about commentary first. Commentary news is most often found on 24-hour news stations. Commentary news is a type of news program where the anchor offers their opinion and their analysis of a current event. You may see the word comment in the word commentary. To comment on something is to give your opinion. That's why it's the name of this type of story. The analysis oftentimes focuses on the why or the what next parts of a story. Many times, the anchor is a famous journalist, and often they invite correspondents on to provide perspective for the analysis. Generally, commentary shows are quite popular right before an election. Commentary shows provide detailed news about the politicians who are running for office. Oftentimes, the program or the anchor is transparent or clear with their political views. Another type of news story that viewers see more often on television news is a consumer report. A consumer report reviews or compares the things we buy. A consumer report takes a critical look at a product or service. For example, Uber, a phone app that connects passengers who need a ride with people who offer rides, is a very popular service here in the United States and in many other parts of the world. Many journalists have filmed segments for TV news of them using Uber to tell the public about this new service. They may also include interviews with road safety experts, or they might compare Uber with traditional taxis. Ultimately, the journalist will present the advantages and disadvantages of this service and helps the shopper make informed decisions. Lastly, the third type of news story found most commonly in broadcast journalism is what's called the feel-good story. Oftentimes, the news may seem too negative, reporting on events that make people feel sad or nervous. Therefore, some news programs try to feature stories that leave the audience feeling good about the world. These are called feel-good stories. Feel-good stories generally focus on a person or people similar to a human interest story. A human interest story, however, doesn't always have a positive feeling. A feel-good story does. Here's an example. A group of window washers at a large local children's hospital wear superhero costumes while they clean the windows from the outside. These window washers are hanging from ropes to clean the outside of the window. So, to the children, they look like Superman or Spider-Man. The window washers are bringing happiness to children who are obviously in the hospital for some very serious reasons. A news program will generally show this type of story at the end of the broadcast to help people feel better after several segments of serious and often depressing news. To summarize, in this video, we talked about three types of stories, commentary and analysis, consumer reports, and feel-good stories. These types of stories are more commonly found in broadcast journalism, but can also be found in print media as well. In the next game, you can test your knowledge of the vocabulary introduced in these first couple of videos.